Now, let's welcome in the governor of New Jersey, Phil Murphy. I know you've had a really difficult, busy 36 hours. You guys have really been through it. I mean, the flooding, the tornadoes. Uh, just, And you've had a chance to survey the damage, Governor. What is your number one concern as you wake up this morning? Good morning, Hoda. And by the way, our death toll, sadly, has climbed now to 25 overnight, and we have at least six missing uh, across the state. My biggest concern right now is that folks have to appreciate the fact that we're still, while, it, while the weather may be good and while the floodwaters may have receded, uh, we're still not out of the woods. Um, we, we still have... Uh, a lot of damage that we're dealing with. We still have floodwaters that are uh, higher, significantly higher than normal. Uh, you're looking at a, at a ba baseball stadium there in, in, in New Jersey. Um, we're still in this thing, and, and folks need to take this seriously. And at the same time, we mourn the loss of those lives. Uh, and uh, we're going to clean up, and we're going to stay together, and we'll get back on our feet, but it may be a long road. You said 25 people uh, have, have died so far. That number is just shocking. Um, do you expect that number to go up? You mentioned six people missing. Hoda, sadly, uh, likely yes. Um, uh, I would guess it would. It went up by two persons overnight. Uh, we know, as I said, of at least six people who are missing. And, and I have to say this, that the tornado did not take any lives, as, dis, as awful as that was, as destructive as it was. And I visited with some of the families yesterday. Uh, everybody went down into the basement and they lived. Uh, all of these deaths are related in, in either directly or indirectly to flooding and water, uh, either in cars or homes. And it's an absolute tragedy. Bless their souls. Yeah. Governor, this thing hit like a hammer. It seemed to come out of nowhere. I mean, a lot of folks obviously were caught off guard, which accounts for the 25 deaths you were talking about. As you look at it today, it, was there any possible way to give better warning, to let people know that this thing was going to be worse than maybe some had thought? So we shouted out uh, un unequivocally that tornadoes uh, were likely and flooding was likely and that this was going to be a a very significant uh, historic uh, rain storm. Um, we declared a state of emergency before anybody else in our neighborhood. Having said that, this was historic. I mean, you've got eight to 10, if, if not more, inches of rain in a, in, in a, across only several hours. Um, and I think back to the warnings, Hoda, I don't know if it's human nature or not, but Tornado warnings get heated immediately. People hear that, they go to their basement. And I think too many people, sadly, when they hear flooding, they think, you know what, it's water. I can deal with it. Yeah. And, and, and bless their souls, we've got 25 people who tried and, and lost their lives. All right. I know you've got a lot of work ahead for you today, uh, Governor Phil Murphy. We appreciate you spending time with us. We're sending our prayers out to you. Thank you, Hoda. Thanks for having me. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.